2 Kings chapter 15, Judah's king Azariah. In the 27th year of Israel's king Jeroboam, Azariah son of Amaziah became king of Judah. He was 16 years old when he became king and reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Zecholiah, Zecholiah who was from Jerusalem. Azariah did what was right in the Lord's sight, just as his father Amaziah had done. Yet the high places were not taken away. The people continued sacrificing and burning incense on the high places. The Lord afflicted the king, and he had a serious skin disease until the day of his death. He lived in a separate house, while Jotham, the king's son, was over the household governing the people of the land. The rest of the events of Azariah's reign, along with all his accomplishments, are written in the historical record of Judah's kings. Azariah rested with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. His son Jotham became king in his place. Israel's King Zechariah in the 38th year of Judah's king Azariah, Zechariah son of Jeroboam became king over Israel and Samaria for six months. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight as his fathers had done. He did not turn away from the sons Jeroboam son of Nabat had caused Israel to commit. Shalom son of Jabesh conspired against Zechariah. He struck him down public, publicly, killed him, and became king in his place. As for the rest of the events of Zechariah's reign, they are written in the historical record of Israel's kings. The word of the Lord that he spoke to Jehu was, Four generations of your sons will sit on the throne of Israel, and it was so. Israel's king Shalom In the thirty-ninth year of Judah's king Uzziah, Shalom son of Jabesh became king. He reigned in Samaria a full month. Then Meh Menahem, son of Gadi, came up from Tirzah to Samaria and struck down Shalom, son of Jabesh, there. He killed him and became king in his place. As for the rest of the events of Shalom's reign, along with the conspiracy that he formed, they are written in the historical record of Israel's kings. Israel's king Menahem. At that time, starting from Tirzah, Menahem attacked Tibshah, all who were in it and its territory. Because they would not surrender, he attacked it and ripped open all the pregnant women. In the 39th year of Judah's king Azariah, Menahem, son of Gadi, became king over Israel and reigned ten years in Samaria. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight. Throughout his reign, he did not turn away from the sins Jeroboam, son of Nabat, had caused Israel to commit. Paul, king of Assyria, invaded the land, so Menahem gave Paul 75,000 pounds of silver so that Paul would support him to strengthen his grip on the kingdom. Then Menahem exacted 20 ounces of silver from each of the wealthy men of Israel to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria withdrew and did not stay there in the land. The rest of the events of Me Menahem's reign, along with all his accomplishments, are written in the historical record of Israel's kings. Menahem rested with his fathers, and his son Pekiah became king in his place. Israel's king Pekahiah. In the fiftieth year of Judah's king Azariah, Pekahiah, son of Menahem, became king over Israel and Samaria and reigned two years. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight and did not turn away from the sins Jeroboam, son of Nabat, had caused Israel to commit. Then his officer Pekah, son of Remaliah, conspired against him and struck him down in Samaria at the citadel of king's palace, as well as Argob and Ariah. There were fifty Gileadite men with Pekah. He killed Pekahiah and became king in his place. As for the rest of the events of Pekahiah's reign, along with all his accomplishments, they are written in the historical record of Israel's kings. Israel's king Pekah. In the fifty-second year of Judah's king Azariah, Pekah son of Remaliah became king over Israel and Samaria and reigned twenty years. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight. He did not turn away from the sins Jeroboam son of Nabat had caused Israel to commit. In the days of Pekah king of Israel, Tiglath Pileser king of Assyria came and captured Aijon, Abel Beth Maka, Jainoa, Kedesh, Hazor, Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and deported the people to Assyria. Then Hoshea, son of Elah, organized a conspiracy against Pekah, son of Remaliah. He attacked him, killed him, and became king in his place in the twentieth year of Jotham, son of Uzziah. 
As for the rest of the events of Pekah's reign, along with all his accomplishments, they are written in the historical record of Israel's kings. Judah's King Jotham In the second year of Israel's king Pekah, son of Remaliah, Jotham, son of Uzziah, became king of Judah. He was twenty-five years old when he became king and reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusha, daughter of Zadok. He did what was right in the Lord's sight, just as his father Uzziah had done. Yet the high places were not taken away. The people continued sacrificing and burning incense on the high places. Jotham built the upper gate of the Lord's temple. The rest of the events of Jotham's reign, along with all his accomplishments, they are written in the historical record of Judah's kings. In those days, the Lord began sending Razan, king of Aram, and Pekah, son of Remaliah, against Judah. Jotham rested with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of his ancestor David. His son Ahaz became king in his place.